It's the end of the road for the ethnic Armenians of Azerbaijan, who for centuries have made their home in its mountains and beyond. With the separatist enclave of Nagorno-Karabakh now under Azerbaijani control, the 120,000 remaining ethnic Armenians were told they could stay and be ruled from Baku or leave. It set off an exodus for neighboring Armenia, where more than 20,000 have arrived since Sunday. Where we are going, what will happen to us, no one knows. I don't know what to say about our future. I don't think we will be able to return to Karabakh. How? How can we go back after all of this happened? We can't live with them. These Armenians are proud, angry and upset. Russian peacekeepers failed to stop Azerbaijan blocking the main road to Armenia for nine months. They refused to accept aid that was offered via a longer route controlled by Azerbaijan. The Europeans are accused of not wanting to pressurize oil and gas rich Azerbaijan. I don't know what kind of chess game this is. I left everything in my home, a ton of potatoes in my cellar, honey, everything was there. I know I will make a new life, but it won't be the same. I curse the one who made us like this. The US government says Azerbaijan's use of force to take control of Nagorno-Karabakh was unacceptable. We know that there are injured civilians in Nagorno-Karabakh who need to be evacuated. And it is absolutely essential that evacuation be facilitated by the government of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan's president, Ilham Aliyev, says his iron fist has consigned the idea of the region's independence to history. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, on the Armenia-Azerbaijan border. Two Kosovo Serbs. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.